Hi everyone, I am Mayashri from ClearTax and today I am going to talk about net present value. When an organization expands, it must take the decisions regarding the expansion of business and investment very wisely. In such cases, the organization will take assistance of capital budgeting tools and take a call on the most profitable investment. One of the most popular capital budgeting tool is net present value or NPV method. Net present value analyzes the profitability of a project or investment. It is calculated by taking the difference between the present value of cash inflows and present value of cash outflows over a period of time. It is nothing but net of the present value of the future cash flows and outflows by discounting cash flows at a specified rate of return. To derive at the present value of the cash flow, we need to discount each one of them at a particular rate which is the discount rate. This rate is derived by considering the return of the investment with similar risk or cost of borrowing for the investment. Formula for NPV is NPV is equal to cash flows divided by 1 plus R raised to the power of T. Cash flows is equal to the cash flows in the time period. R is the discount rate, T is the time period. After discounting the cash flows over different periods, the initial investment is deducted from it. If the result is a positive NPV, then the project is accepted. If the NPV is negative, the project is rejected. And if NPV is zero, then the organization will stay indifferent. Now let us take an illustration and see how the NPV is calculated. Let's say Nice Limited wants to expand its business and so it is willing to initially invest Rs 10 lakhs. Assuming the discount rate to be 9%, let us calculate the NPV using the formula. In the first year, the investment is sent to bring a cash inflow of 1 lakh. So as per the formula, cash inflow will be 1 lakh divided by 1 plus R that is the rate of return which is 9%. So, 1 plus 9% will be 1.09 raised to the power of t. Since it's first year, t will be 1. By using the formula, the present value will be 1 lakh divided by 1.09 which is 91,743. For the second year, the cash flow is 2,50,000. So, the present value will be cash flow that is 2,50,000 divided by 1 plus r that is 1.09 raised to the power of t that is 2 as it is the second year which basically is 2,50,000 divided by 1.09 into 1.09 which results in 2,10,419. For the third year it will be cash flow of 3,50,000 divided by 1.09 raised to the power of t or 3 times 1.09 which is 2,70,264. For each of the year, you have to use the formula to arrive at the present value for the cash flow. After calculating the present value of each year, you have to add the present value of each year, that is the aggregate sum of 91,743, 2,10,419, 2,70,264, 1,87,732 and 2,69,721 which is 10,29,879. This aggregate sum of 10,29,879 is deducted from the initial investment of 10 lakhs. The result is 29,879, which is the NPV. Since the net present value is positive, the investment is profitable and hence Nice Limited can go ahead with the expansion. To calculate NPV of the money, you can try Clear Tax NPV Calculator. The link to the calculator is given in the description below. Advantages of net present value method are that it takes into consideration the time value of money. The time value of money simply means that a rupee today is of more value today than it will be tomorrow. NPV helps in deciding whether it is worth to take up a project based on the present value of the cash flows. Second, it is a comprehensive tool. Net present value takes into consideration all the inflows, outflows, period of time and risk involved. Therefore, NPV is a comprehensive tool taking into consideration all aspects of the investment. It provides the value of investment. The net present value method not only states if a project will be profitable or not, but also gives the value of total profits. 
द टू क्वांटिफाइज द गेन्स और लॉसेस फ्रॉम द इन्वेस्टमेंट लिमिटेशन ऑफ द नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू मेथड आर डिस्काउंटिंग रेट द मेन लिमिटेशन ऑफ नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू मेथड इज दैट द रेट ऑफ द रिटर्न हैज टू बी डिटर्मिन If a higher rate of return is assumed, it can show false negative NPV. Also, if a lower rate of return is taken, it will show false profitability of the project and hence result in wrong decision making. Next is that the different projects are not comparable. NPV cannot be used to compare two projects which are not of the same time period. Multiple assumptions. The NPV method also makes a lot of assumptions in terms of inflows outflows there might be a lot of expenditure that will come to surface only when the project actually takes off with all its limitations the npv method in capital budgeting is very useful and hence is widely used you can visit a detailed page on this for more information the link to the page is given in the description below if you like this video please do like share and comment and do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get a notification every time we upload a new video stay tuned for more updates